Hi, my name is James Shepard, and this is another edition of the Merchant Sales Insight, where I'm gonna to explain to you at a high level how to analyze a payment processing statement by asking three questions. So this is gonna be high level to help you as a salesperson understand how to get out there and analyze a statement quickly to have an educated conversation with the merchant. Obviously, this is brought to you by ISOAMP, which is the leader in full service statement analysis and just so happens to be a company that I own and that my team operates. So let's dive in and answer these three questions. Here we go. Number one, ask why. Why are you analyzing this statement? You might say, well, James, that's a ridiculous question. It's really not, okay? You need to know why you're analyzing the statement. As an example, maybe you are selling them a technology solution and you're trying to match their rate while showing them benefits on the technology side, right? Well, if that's what you're doing, that's gonna have a big impact on the way you analyze the statement because you're probably gonna wanna match not only their current pricing rate, but even their pricing structure. Like if they're on flat rate, you're probably gonna wanna put them on flat rate with the same rate because you're trying to show them that you're matching it, right? If they're on Interchange Plus, you're probably gonna wanna do Interchange Plus, right? If they're on dual pricing, cash discounting, whatever, you're probably gonna wanna do a program that has similar results. So why are you analyzing it? Are you looking for savings, okay? Um, well. Maybe it's a really big merchant account and you know there's not gonna be a ton of savings probably in margin, so you're looking at interchange optimization, right? Like, why are you analyzing this statement? What are you looking for exactly? That is number one question that you gotta ask before you dive into the analysis. Number two, you need to ask how, okay? How are they processing payments? This is a crucial, crucial question for you to answer before you analyze a statement because if you don't understand how they're processing payments, there's gonna be things on that statement that are just not gonna make any sense to you or that are not gonna be in context. As an example, a lot of times we'll get a statement at ISOAMP, we'll send it back to a client and we'll show that the current effective rate is five and a half, six percent And you might think to yourself, oh my goodness, what in the world? I could save this merchant so much money. Maybe, but how are they processing payments? When we let them know, hey, based on the chargeback rate and everything, this looks like potentially a high risk account, then they go to submit the deal to their primary processor, the deal gets rejected because it's high risk. They go to a high risk provider and the high risk provider says, yeah, five and a half, six percent is a pretty good, that's competitive, right? We would be right there with them. And all of a sudden they can look, you know, you can look really stupid when you go back to the merchant and say, oh my goodness, you're paying this ridiculous amount of money, six percent, oh wow, we can do way better than that. And then you have to come back and eat some crow a few days later when you say, well, I didn't realize you were high risk. We can do 5.8%, <laughs> you know, and now you sound kind of stupid. So ask, how are they processing, right? Is this an e-commerce merchant, card not present, terminal, point of sale? Um, if it's a point of sale system, you might, you might see some gateway fees and you might say, oh my goodness, these gateway fees are ridiculous. We can get rid of those. Well, be careful, not so fast. What if that's the only gateway that integrates with that point of sale system? And what if you need that gateway to integrate as well? So you have to ask, how are they processing payments so that you actually understand it? I'll give you one more quick example. Let's say they're on a tiered pricing structure or some kind of two tier or something where they have a lot of non-qualified transactions at a higher rate. Well, you might tell them, oh my goodness, you can save so much with us, right? Well, hold on a second. What if that merchant's doing almost entirely card not present transactions with B2B customers? There's nothing you're gonna do about that. There is a higher interchange rate there. You should have been asking how and why so that you could do an interchange optimization pitch rather than coming at them with, well, these are all non-qualified, they shouldn't be. Well, actually they would be with you as well. So you gotta ask how are they processing in order to understand the statement. Finally, we get to the third question, which is ask who, okay? Who, who is charging the fees that you're looking at on the statement? Now, this is where it gets into actual statement analysis. And what I will tell you is, when you understand our industry a little bit, reading a payment processing statement is actually not that difficult. One of the first things that you have to ask yourself is this. You say, who is charging this particular fee? So when you look at a fee, the question is, is this being charged by the issuing bank? That would be an interchange fee, okay? Or is it being charged by one of the card brands dues, assessments, international assessment, um, you know, that sort of thing, network access brand usage fee, um, integrity fee, a bunch of different ones. Is it a car brand fee or is it a processor fee? Is it a fee being charged by the processor? Now, 
One of the other interesting ones, there's actually a fourth category now that comes into play, which is, is it being charged by a technology company? I used to not talk about that very much, but now you're seeing a lot of fees charged by the technology company. Could be a, a gateway fee, could be a software fee, right? Things like that. So it may not be the processor charging it. Maybe they're using Clover. And so there's some monthly fees associated with that. And if they switch to you, you're going to provide them with a Clover system and they're going to have similar fees, right? So you got to know who is charging these fees. So as you look down through the statement, start to, to sort things out. And what you're really looking for is you're looking for the fees that are charged by the processor. Now, where this obviously gets really tricky is if they're on flat rate pricing or something. And so you're like, well, this is charged by the processor, but we have no idea what the bank is charging. We don't have any transparency into the car brand fees. And of course, that's when you're going to need a, you know, a partner like ISOAMP to help you out. So these are the three questions I always ask. So when I look at a statement, I always ask, why am I analyzing the statement? Because I'll be honest, and again, I own ISOAMP, and I'm telling you that you don't always have to analyze the statement, right? There are times where you have somebody, and again, they're on flat rate pricing, you're selling them a point of sale system, and you're trying to match their pricing. You may still want to run a statement through ISOAMP to make sure the margin is good and that the current company didn't underprice them or something stupid. But, you know, really, honestly, in a lot of cases, you say, well, I see they're already at 2.8% you know, for this particular business type, that seems good. I'll just match it. We're good to go. So why are you analyzing the statement? Are you trying to find savings? Are you trying to find interchange optimization, right? Like, are you looking for a conversion? You, you know, they're on tiered pricing. You don't like tiered pricing. So you want to take them to interchange plus, but you don't know what to price them at. You don't know how much you're going to save them. Well, you load it into ISOAMP and then we can tell you. So again, this one is brought to you by ISOAMP. You can go to getisoamp.com. It's G-E-T-I-S-O. AMP.com, getisoamp.com. Uh, we analyze, uh, yesterday as I'm recording this, we analyzed, I think, 267 statements in a day. Um, so we analyze thousands of statements every month, and we work with many, many of the largest companies out there. We have a fully white labeled solution, and it is like super, super robust. You can do any kind of pricing scheme you want. You can go from flat rate to tier, tier to flat rate, compliant surcharging to dual pricing, interchange plus to flat rate, whatever. You can do anything you want with the system. Uh, the proposal template library is fantastic. So definitely go check it out, upload the statement, and you'll start to learn more about the industry just by seeing what we give you back, where we categorize everything. And you'll start to be able to answer these questions like, well, now I know why I analyzed the statement because of that one fee that I didn't even notice that the team at ISOAMP noticed and pulled out for me, right? Um, or I can see who is charging that because that fee is down in the card brand section or the interchange section or the Amex Out Blue section. So, you know, that's really crucial. Get those statements in, get them analyzed. Right now, our average turnaround time is about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I don't know when this particular video is going to air, but we're going to be launching fully automated uh, instant analysis on a lot of the statements very, very soon, probably within a month or so of the recording of this video. So stay tuned for that. I'm super excited about all of that. My name is James Shepard, and this is the Merchant Sales Insight.